Texas. The Lone Star State is the second largest state by area, population, and economy in America. If you've ever been there, you've noticed how everything is much bigger, much like food portion and highway. Back in the day, the newly independent Mexico was also pretty big. Whew! Finally, I managed to kick Spain out for good. Now I can finally get to eat my tacos without anyone bothering me. You know, maybe I should go say hi to my neighbors. <laughs> Gotta work on my diplomacy. Uh, how's it going, America? I thought it would be cool if you were to eat some lunch with me. You want some tacos? Um, uh, hello? Huh? Oh, not now. I'm in the middle of something here. Sorry, pal. All right, then. Uh, what about you, Canada? Mexico, now's not a good time to eat. You're in great danger. What? What are you talking about? Look, ever since you've gained independence, my uncles over in Europe have been keeping an eye on your northern territories. <clears throat> Wait, what? I, I mean, I can't really afford to fight any Europeans anymore. Listen to me. Your northern territories may be vulnerable to invasions because there are hardly any people there. In order to enforce your claims over your lands over there, you ought to populate them before anyone else tries to get their hands on them. Okay, thanks, Canada. I'll, I'll keep it in mind. Anytime, buddy. Just remember that you didn't hear it from me, alright? Hmm... Where could I get some people from? I mean... The US has lots of them. Guess I might accept some people into here now. Hey, you guys want some cheap land? Uh, come over to Mexico and you'll be sure to achieve your American dream thing or whatever. Yeah, sure. I'll sure raise my kids over here. They're practically giving away land for free. All right, things are looking good now. I mean, I don't see any threats from any Europeans now anyway. <sighs> At last, I'll be able to eat these delicious tacos. Jeez, I'm famished. This is too good to be true. Independence is in the air! I announce the outset of the Republic of the Rio Grande! I hereby declare the Republic of California as a legit sovereign state. This is the Republic of Texas speaking. Yeah, I don't really feel like being part of Mexico anymore either. Um, uh, excuse me, what do you think you're doing? Breaking away from you, of course. I mean, look, I don't know if this goes for everyone, but... My people is mostly English speaking, so if we're already different compared to you, we may as well just be our own thing, right? <sighs> oh, I guess this is my fault for accepting way too many Americans in here. But come on, guys, you're all Mexican. Get back here. Over, Over our, our dead, dead bodies. bodies. Well, I, I, I certainly didn't think it would be this hard to put you down, Texas. You're certainly stronger than you look. It's Texas, actually. You're defeated, Mexico. You better get used to having a new neighbor, the Republic of Texas. <laughs> oh man, you're you're cracking me up, really. Well, if you want to be a sovereign country, then you need other countries to recognize you as such. And you know for sure what my answer is going to be, so, you know, don't even bother. Hey, guys, quick question. Am I a country to you? I'm quite sure that Texas is definitely a country. Just so, if that's what makes you happy. Uh, whatever. You're not a country to me. Sad to hear that. Great shame, really. Good way to start. I got a bunch of land here. Um, <laughs> excuse you? No, you don't. You would have that land if you were a country, which you're definitely not. I would say your border will look more like this than whatever you're trying to claim over there. Come on! Give me a break already! It's time for a makeover! Yeehaw! Perfect! I know I've just become independent, but I feel like being part of the U.S. could be pretty cool. Howdy, y'all. May I speak to your boss? Huh? Hey, boss man. Mind if I join you in the union? Hmm. Not sure. What do you guys say? 
May I have a Coke? Of course. Which kind? Well, I'd like a Dr. Pepper, please. Well, sure thing. Here you go. Don't know. Sorry, Tex, but you know, annexing you would disrupt my balance of North and South, and I don't really think my states would be able to handle it. That's okay. You have yourself a good day. Well, I guess I should start doing some sovereign country stuff, like printing my own money, make some laws, raise some cattle, and, above all, go watch some rodeos. Texas was cool. I kind of regret not letting him in. After all, it is my god-given right to expand all the way into the Pacific. No one will stop me. <laughs> Where did that come from? That wasn't me talking at all. I may know what it is. England? Yes, son. It's me, and I'm chuffed to bits to see you again. I'd prefer to be called Britain, but we don't want to trigger the Scots, am I right? It's in your genes, running through your blood. That's what our family does best, conquering lots of territories. Yeah, here we go again. If that's true, why is Canada so peaceful? I've got to admit that the thought of expanding has crossed my mind before. But I mean, I have a lot of land already, so nah. Besides, I've got everything I could have ever asked for. Landscapes filled with beautiful maple trees. America, just think about it. You could very well start your own empire, just like mine. Perhaps even grander. Dad, we've talked about this. I don't want an empire. Eh, you'll understand it when you're older. Oh, gotta go, it's tea time. Cheerio! What's wrong with him? But I mean, these thoughts are beginning to be more difficult to ignore now. Expand from sea to shining sea. That's what I should do. Come on, America, get a hold of yourself! Manifest destiny it is! Greetings, Tex. I thought about what you said earlier, and I'd say you make a great addition to the Union. Oh, really? Glad you feel that way. So, where does your border end exactly? Uh, here. Definitely at the Rio Grande. Yeah! Well, I hope you don't mind if I send some troops over there to scout the area, huh? Go ahead. Uh, that's not an issue at all. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you supposed to be doing over there, exactly? That is my land. So, that technically means you are invading my country. And you know what? I can play that game too. I declare war on you! Texas, you made me deploy troops in a disputed territory? That's totally my land! <sighs> Guess I'll get this over with. Be back in a jiffy. Anyone want some burritos? Hey, I'm back! Won the war. That board dispute should be way over by now. You got some new brothers now, by the way. <laughs> Yeehaw! California, New Mexico, boy, am I glad to see you guys here! Welcome to the Union, you guys. Ever since then, Texas has been pretty loyal to the U.S. Except when it joined the Confederacy a few years later. Texas's main history pretty much ends here, though. It became part of the U.S., so the end. Plus, the animator's looking at me like he doesn't really feel like drawing anymore, so let's just call it a day. The end. Where's my check? So that would be my take of the Texas Revolution and its subsequent annexation to America. Now, I would like to thank all of these generous, awesome people who have taken the time to help me with their voices. You might recognize Viri and Nathan from my previous video. So thank you so much guys. I couldn't have made this video without the help of you all. Now that you've reached the end of this video, I encourage you to subscribe, like and leave a comment. If you so desire. It was fun to make this video, so I hope you all had a fun time watching it. Coral, out.